So I'm here with Parker Bone the third, and a few questions I um, wanted to ask him. So um, there's one thing that I wanted to ask more than anything is who is the hardest person that you bowled against on TV? On TV? Uh, I mean, you know, I've always put Mike Galby in that category, but yeah, I'm definitely. Walter Ray in that category as well. And the main reason is Mike Galby or Walter Ray never, ever give up. That's true. And even though Mike doesn't bowl on tour any longer, and Walter still does, yep. the reason that they're as good as they are is because they never give up and they try each and every shot. Yep. Now, um, out of all the titles that you've won, what is your favorite telecast that um, you won on? Well, the one that, that stands out probably the most is me winning my own event that was named after me in Albany, New York. Yep. Uh, that was from, what year was that from? Uh, the year, I don't remember the year exactly, but it was the Parker Bone and Third Empire State Open. I think it was like 2000, 2001-ish, I think, maybe? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it was really special for the fact that my name was on the tournament. Yep. There was a lot of work that went involved. I mean, between talking to press people, TV, doing interviews, sometimes at 7.30 in the morning, obviously sometimes 11.25 at night on the late news because I was bowling good. And then when it was all said and done, I found myself getting up in the 10th frame, needing to just fill a couple of pins to get collect the check and trophy. Yeah. You know, that, there was a lot of meaning, and that was very special to my heart. Oh, I bet. Now, um, how do you feel about this upcoming PBA season? Well, you know, our season this year is a lot shorter than it has been since yeah. I've been out on tour. Mm -hmm. That's the real unfortunate thing. Yeah. You know, the players want to bowl as many weeks as possible. And when I say as many weeks, you know, they want to have a schedule that's somewhere around 30 or 35 weeks long. Uh -huh. In the last five or eight years, we've only had a, a 20 or 22 week schedule. And this year, realistically, we've only got 11 events to bowl. Yeah. So, you know, you're really going to have to focus real hard and strong on those 11 events. Yeah. But the PBA is here to stay. The players are gearing up. They're ready for what's going to come very, very shortly. You know, right around the corner next month, yep. the World Series of Bowling is going to kick off in Las Vegas, and I'm just hopeful that I'm a big part of it, and I'm going to try to do what I can to go out and win again. And I hope that um, you do well in the Tournament of Champions, since that's going to be the biggest one ever. Yeah, yeah, the PBA Tournament of Champions this year is a, a million-dollar prize fund, 250000 on top, the biggest event ever held in professional bowling history. So it's definitely going to be a tournament of all tournaments, and the champion, when it's all said and done, is really going to have one awesome payday. Yeah, and one, one more practical question. I'm not sure if you mind me asking this, but uh, what happened to the mustache? <laughs> I said a couple months ago when, when I... Uh, when it was my birthday, I said I was going to shave it off, and well, lo and behold, I did. It turned out to be good karma. I ended up winning the regional a couple of days later. So that works. I said I'm going to leave it off for a while. We're going to see how we're going to do. So the aerodynamics are a little different going up to the foul line. You know, uh, so far it's so good. We're going to keep it just the way it is. All right. Thank you very much, Parker. All right, thank you. All right. And good bowling.